How to play the guitar, finger picking or finger style. These lessons are for beginners, however you do need to have some knowledge of the chords as these lessons will be taught under the assumption that you do have this knowledge. The basics, your hands and your fingers. Previously you will have looked at your fingering hand and you'll remember that your fingers are named after the numbers 1 to 4. So your first finger is your first finger and your little finger is your fourth finger. However, for your picking hand we're going to be using letters. This is the standard and it has always been that way so if you learn this system you'll be sure you'll come across it in the future. The letters you'll be using are P, I, M, A, L and these letters stand for primary, index, middle, annular and little. Here's some pointers to help you remember the fingers. Your primary is obviously the first and the most important finger on your hand. Even though you know it as the thumb, it's the strongest and the biggest, so we can consider you that primary. The index is the one you'd use when you were looking through an index. If you imagine putting your finger on a book and looking down the page, you'd use your first finger, which is your index finger. The middle is the dead centre, so you've got two fingers either side of it, that one's easy. And your annular finger. Annular comes from the word for ring, as in annual, yearly, which is the cycle that comes round. And that's because this is your ring finger. So, if you remember the annular as being the ring finger, it should help you remember which finger you're using. And the little finger is pretty obvious, and hardly ever used by most guitarists. It's also important to note that this is a carefully designed progressive course, and therefore each lesson is important. So, if something seems very easy, don't ignore it, go through it and practice it anyway, as each lesson built on the back of the previous lessons. Exercise 1 This initial exercise will just be using the primary and the index finger, playing the open E string with the primary finger and the open B string with the index finger. So you don't need to put any chords down at the moment. So let's try that just going between the primary and the index finger. Remembering to pluck down with the primary finger and up with the index finger. You may find you need to pause the video at various points during the tutorial in order to practice the exercises. And even though the exercises only show a few of the pattern, the idea really is to keep repeating it and build it up as smoothly as you possibly can. I'm playing these exercises with the metronome at 90 beats per minute. This is just so it's in sort of a middle ground, so it's not too slow for most people and it's not too fast for most people. However, if you want to go slower or faster, just pause the video and try by yourself. Your goal will be to speed up these exercises. So, if you want to try them with a faster metronome beat or just faster in general, then this will be really beneficial to your playing. Exercise 2. With this exercise we'll be using the primary, index and the middle finger. Again plucking down with the primary and up with the index and the middle finger. Again as well in this exercise you don't need to finger a chord and just try to keep repeating it and getting it as smooth as you possibly can.
Exercise 3 Primary Index Middle Index And again, down with the primary, up with the index, up with the middle and up again with the index. And as with the previous exercises, there's no chord, but try to get the finger picking pattern as smoothly as possible over and over again. Exercise 4 As with the previous exercise, the finger picking pattern for this one is primary, index, middle, index, or PIMI as we'll call it from now on. This time however, we have the extra element of adding chords. Before starting the exercise, just look at the tab briefly and notice that the bass notes are on different strings. This is quite normal for different chords. This means the primary finger has to change strings during the exercise, so take notice of this as you're looking at it. In this exercise we have an E minor and A major and a D major chord and you'll notice the bass note for the E minor is the open E string, the bass note for the A major is the open A string and the bass note for the D major is the open D string. This isn't by chance, because at this point, whilst we're learning finger picking, the bass note will always be the root note of the chord, and the root of the chord is the note that gives the chord its name. With this exercise, you have two targets now. Not only to get the finger picking pattern smoothly, but also to try and get the chord changes smoothly. This is actually quite difficult because there's not much time between the chord changes, so you may have to practice speeding up the chords separately and then come back to the finger picking. If you really struggle with the chord changes, you can use cheats. For example, the E minor here there's no fingers actually being played, so you can actually just use an open guitar. And with the A major, you can construct the chord with two fingers. As you've already become aware, the exercises in this video I'm playing with a metronome. However, it's a good idea for you to try practicing with a metronome, because you'll find it really beneficial in the future.
exercise 5. This exercise uses the same finger picking pattern as the previous exercise, that is PIMI or Primary Index Middle Index. However, this time the chords are more difficult than the previous exercise. They are C major, A minor, D minor and G seventh. Even if these chord changes are quite hard, you've got more time to practice this one because this is the last exercise in this particular tutorial. So practice it until you feel comfortable with the chord changes and the finger picking and then move on to the next tutorial. Let's see that again, but showing both hands this time. Your eventual goal is for smooth flowing finger picking and smooth flowing chord changes. To view the ebooks containing these particular exercises, go to ebooksforguitar.com and you're looking for month 9, week 1. The link is below in the description. For the next tutorial, like and subscribe so you'll be notified of its publication, or if it's already been published, a link will be below in the description. I'm going to end this tutorial with a couple of minutes of metronome beats at 80 beats per minute, 100 beats per minute and 120 beats per minute and then you can practice what you've learnt today.